specific off-word servers or was it just something that kind of or do you no. like you know what i mean is it anything specific specifically no, um, differently that there, goes into we them did actually um try making servos that were specific for cars mm -hmm. uh that had a little shorter lead on them uh that you know but the the thing with that is that it's everything is similar so like the 9381 for example that's our top of the line servo brushless servo uh that's our giant scale airplane servo that's our you know eight scale off-road servo that's the you know anything gotcha. that that you you know for for the the, the echelon top level of, of performance um and so when you have if you have a different version and, and there's companies that do that you know they've got surface mm. surface versions and maybe it's got a smaller lead a shorter lead or something like that and and i i know you know sometimes it's it's hard to deal with the little bit longer lead but you know you typically just kind of stuff it in your in your radio box and it's it's going to be okay but uh we we do just make you know servos kind of as general servos when you start making specific servos then you limit your market okay. and, and then you look at the sales and you're like well you know is this even worth it and and so so we just decided that that we would have you know one one version we may make something that's you know more geared towards something you know mm -hmm. where we have a speed speedier version versus a torqueier version okay um but in most cases uh you know uh, torque sells the the higher torque models sell more than the higher speed models got you yeah, uh, yeah and and some people think that you know oh i need this fastest servo and what they don't realize too is it is that the with with some servos you know again I, like i mentioned with 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 our brushless they don't slow down but but you you can you put your put your foot on top of your car and start moving the wheels you know it goes from zip 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 to burr 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 you mm -hmm. know and uh that's that's gonna affect it so when you're at the end of the straightaway you know going 60 miles an hour and you go to turn the high speed servo isn't going to have that 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 initial turn in you know, maybe quick through the S's when you're going slow, but but the higher speed stuff, you know, it really it can bog down and it can it can give you an inconsistent feel. So so um, normally the uh, the torqueier servos are kind of the way to go as long as they're not too slow. Um, right. But in most cases, like I said, 9381, which is about 0.13 transit time uh, at uh, at 7.4 volts, that's uh, that's where uh you know plenty plenty fast for for you know most most vehicles so uh, you that was a great analogy you used up uh, talking about the high the high speed server going into a corner it's that like that puts it all into perspective um i, I think people need more power anyway because the, maybe these servers are too fast for them anyway they need to yeah. turn them down a little bit in the radios or something yeah, and, and also the same thing with the, you know, mechanical setup too, is that, you know, if you've got a longer horn, the longer arm, you know, the further out it is, you know, that's going to give you a little bit more speed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to give you a little less resolution. It's not going to be quite as precise, uh, going to give you less torque. So, you know, there's sometimes those little fine, fine, fine lines of moving, you know, just a little bit. You've got, you know, a couple holes to choose from. Um, you know, if you want a little bit quicker speed, go to the outside hole. If you want a little more torque, go to the inside hole. Uh, you know, those are things that, that, uh, have a factor as well. And especially on the airplane side, you know, where they use really big, big horns, um, you know, the closer you are to the center line of the servo, the more torque you're going to have, the more resolution you're going to have, uh, less load. Physics, so man. Yeah. Physics. Yeah. All physics. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, a lot of mechanical stuff, you know, you got to yeah. think about too. So as we was talking, like high tech was booming. I remember you guys had like Adam Drake on your team. You had, you know, like, oh, like it was booming. It was like, you was really into surface racing. And then we had, we had a guy, uh, Billy, um, Billy Ho was his kind of his nickname, Billy Tompkins. Oh uh, yeah. He, he was, he would come out to, you know, we would send him to the events. And, uh, so he got to go and represent and, and that was something that, that, you know, is always good. When anytime you can have somebody out there, right uh, you know you you get more exposure uh so uh in, and it's been a little tough with me where you know everything kind of comes down where I, i'm in charge of, of of what he was doing um and also the air side of things and also the uh you know um sales and and everything so i i haven't been able to get out there um you know we do have we do have team drivers uh mm -hmm. you mentioned uh mike walker uh yep. who's one of our 
one of our our team drivers and kind of kind of rep um, for for the area. So mm -hmm. so uh, we are looking for for more people to help represent. So if uh, you know viewers out there, if you feel that uh, you you could help represent high tech and you like our products or want to try our products, because you know we feel we've got uh, as good if not better product quality everything you know as far as uh, servos go on the market there's you know a lot of good stuff out there but you know when it comes down to the technology that we're utilizing in in our servos i really feel there's nothing better than like that 9381 for durability performance uh you know so so those are those are things that we do you know we have a team uh we offer you know discounted uh price on on the product and you know we, we always are looking for people that that will help represent and and for us it's it's all about the the person it's all about the mm. you know the person personality you know there's a lot of fast guys out there but you know it's that's not really what it's all about necessarily yeah you want to win you want to do well but you know when you have a, a sponsored driver you want somebody that's out there representing you in good faith and 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 it's not all about just me 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 and and i need to win um oh, yeah you know, Mike's been good for, I mean, that's all we got connected through Mike. Um, mm -hmm. So that's, that's great. Um, I'm seeing he's even like, you guys are sponsoring some race time events and stuff like that, because I hadn't seen high tech in the surface side of things for a while. So I guess that's kind of when you got, I, I was, I mean, obviously you guys were before, but then it was a spat, like maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but it kind of wasn't as big. You guys wasn't as big in the racing side of things for some time for a little while. I kind of wanted to know what happened there. Did you guys decide to focus on something else? Did you go more industrial with your work or what happened there? Well, we, we, we did, we have gone industrial, um, mm. but you know, there's still the, the, the RC side of things. So, but you know, as the, the markets change, the markets, you know, definitely been depressed, uh, you know, at least, you know, for the last decade, it was just kind mm -hmm. of on the downside. We, we kind of got this bump. I mean, it was almost like this COVID bump of, you know, people weren't, were, were sitting at home and they didn't have anything to do and they you know were out spending money on their hobby you know so uh we definitely saw something like that but but in order to to be able to go to these to these events to get somebody out there all the time i mean it, it takes a lot of dedication and and we it was it was you know something where we ended up having to shrink a little mm -hmm. bit um and and uh unfortunately that was where you know Billy was was our guy and mm -hmm. was no longer out there, you know, able to do that. And uh, for me, it wasn't something that that you know I was so involved in that I could just step in. And so that's why we're you know trying to kind of expand again, trying mm -hmm. to get people, you know, key people, core people, uh, you know, maybe uh, you know have this have this kind of regional sort of thing where we look for. Uh, you know, like team manager. Uh, I have uh, Brian Wright out here on the West Coast is uh, is helping us out. So he gets he gets around. He gets the most of the events. He's he's you know uh, doing eight scale, doing electric. Uh, so so he's uh, he's you know out there helping look for people and stuff like that. So so but you know as far as corporate level goes, and granted, I mean you know I haven't traveled at all. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, there was, there was a shutdown of, you know, we're not going anywhere for, for the last, you know, year and a half. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I do plan on going out to that big, you mentioned the, the Joe Nall, Nall in the fall. So that'll yeah. be our big airplane event that we go to where there's 10,000 people. I know it's and, amazing. You know, there's, there's, uh, 1500 pilots, you know, I want to go to that so bad and uh, I go just to miles that. of miles of stuff. So. Uh, but I'd like to get out to, to another, you know, another event, uh, you know, get, you know, I, I definitely, again, I, I've, I've been around, I, I would love to go out and race, but you know, it's, it's so tough to be able to, to get to even close to being, you know, at a, at a level of, of, you know, satisfaction and going out to an event and having all your gear and being prepared and stuff like that. I mean, it's so much that, that goes into it. Like, so I said, I like on road, I can pull my car out of the paper sack and throw it on the track. And from the year ago that it ran last time and it still goes okay, you know, <laughs> and uh, you can't do that with off road. That's for sure.